Welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Um, in this episode we're going to fight, I think, what is seen as one of the hardest bosses in the game. So I don't know how this is going to go. I know it's quite difficult. Um, so we're going to go back to where the boss area is. We're going to see if we can grab Solaire to help us. Because I think we might need the help. And then we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I've got a feeling it might take a few attempts. Um, we'll see what happens. So first thing I'm going to do is just see if I've got any kind of pine resin or whatever that might be able to help with damage. And we don't. Okay. So yeah, we, do, we don't have that. And that's, yeah, I mean, fireball's not going to really... My pyromancy is too low really to make use of these I think especially in a boss fight maybe maybe going you know fighting normal enemies I might be able to but no we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way with cold hard steel and a mate let's go so yeah I don't care about souls at the moment if I lose them I'm not bothered I am concerned about fighting the boss so let's see how we get on And yeah, expect me to die a few times, but I'll I will literally fast forward every every uh, walk back, you know. And now we've opened that big gate. Now, yeah, I'm going to try and find Solaire's uh, stone uh, symbol. If I die on the first attempt with Solaire. I'll probably use my remaining two humanities to try again with him and then if that fails I will just run straight to the boss um, and not worry about you know summons if I've got no humanity left so that's the plan so yeah I'm gonna take my time to kill each enemy individually now I know there's a, a silver knight with a bow that could cause me some problems so it might be worth just running straight into him first um, maybe, we'll see. One step at a time. Oh. See how big they are, they're quite good at moving, jumping and stuff. This one, let's go. Him. Right, there's a big guy. Where's the archer? He's somewhere. Is he up there? He's there, I can see him. Yeah, so maybe I can just pull this one. Okay. Because I don't want to fight him in range of the archer because that will really hurt. And these things are hard enough as it is. That's a cleric spell, isn't it? Okay, one. Step one, complete. That big one over there, he ain't gonna bother us. So I should be able to just run upstairs, go straight for the black knight, or the silver knight. Or whatever colour he is, I can't remember. I think he's silver. So we go around here, up here, and there he is. Nope. Right, where's our charm? <coughs> oh, there. There, I see it. I see it. I see it. 
Okay, let's take this guy out as he's put himself in a vulnerable position. Oh, I didn't do anything. No! Killed him with that last shot, but oh shit, no, I need to get out of here. What's he doing? Doing what I'm doing. Missed. No, you don't. Right. Here we go. Let's go and get, get our chum. So, with this boss, you probably already know, but if you don't, there's two of them. So, if there's two of them, then two of me seems fair. Here's our buddy. Right. I've just got to focus, that's all. So I might not be doing much talking in the fight. Right, let's do it, bro. I probably could have summoned him to help me with those uh, other ones, but I'm not. But I dealt with them, so that's fine. Is he following? Come on. Right. Why has he lost some health already? Look. What happened there? Maybe he fell, fell or something. Like fighting the big guy so first one down So they're distracting. Come on. He's big. I don't understand what Soler's doing. Get in there. Get in there. That's it. Oh dear. That doesn't look good.
Okay, come on. So there, uh, help me. Win this fight for me. missing right so let us stay alive please yes <clears throat> get in there First attempt. <laughs> that could have gone smoother, not gonna lie. <clears throat> but we did it. Look off for that. Oof. So yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. But it certainly wasn't easy. I mean I used eight of my flasks. I got skewered a few times and done in. Solaire survived as well, which was good. I got another sunlight medal. I still have to find out what they do and the soul of Ornstein and a Leo ring I do like my rings let's have a look what does a Leo ring do boosts counter attacks of thrust oh, no. <laughs> no that's not going to help me right so we did it now what Definitely everything, eh? Let's go over here. Oh, there's a lift. Okay, let's go on there. Bonfire, nice. Okay, let's uh, let's, let's rest. Um, let's see if I can level up. I can. Okay. That I'll have a little little explore just in case there's something around here. I don't think there will be, but it's worth a look. Um, no, no chests or anything, unfortunately. Never mind. Right, let's go and go up them stairs, I guess. So, oh yeah, I thought I might add, add, I've never been past this point, um, even beating the boss, like, I've never, this is the furthest away from the Shire that I've ever been, so um, yeah, I don't know what to expect next, um, I've, I kind of know what areas to, that we should go to, and I know some areas are optional and some aren't so we'll figure it out but I don't really know the layouts of these places so yeah it's a it's a new experience for me now so that could be bad or good you know ah thou hast journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead come hither child come hither child Neil. Okay, she doesn't want to kill us, so oh, that's a good, good sign. I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father his wounded Obscurus, 
I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Excellent, that's what we, we wanted. So we've got the Lord Vessel. I can now warp between bonfires. Brilliant. And beseech thee. Succeed Lord Gwyn and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. Don't you worry, I'll sort that out. Uh, what do I do now? Oh, chosen undead. Is it the same? Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Enter Covenant, yes, because she seems nice. The Ring of the Sun Princess. Hereafter I, Gwynabu, shall serve it as thine guardian. If thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Praise the sun. Since the day Father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee, once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art, O chosen undead, and beseech thee. I think we've succeed Lord Gwyn and inherit the fire of the world, fire yeah, you've got it. A great and arduous indeed with a now thou shalt go forth, chosen, chosen undead. May yeah. thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Okay, so what do I do now? That's it, I guess. Is that a door? No. So we can walk between the bonfires. So I think we should probably go back to Firelink. Sunlight altar, what's that? Let's try that. I will go to Firelink Shrine, but I just wanted to see what that was. Oh that one. Oh yeah, I'm not yeah, not bothered about that, but is there anything I can do up here? Mm. Oh, this is really handy being able to walk. So, Firelink Shrine, we don't have to run through all, the, all them lot. Where's our mate? Um, where's uh, where's our pal? The the one that tells us where to go. Where's he gone? That's weird. Just wanted to see if I had a what are they called. The ones that can boost your Estus Flask, but I don't. Yeah, um, where's he gone then? That's weird. Just gonna talk to this this guy. Thing. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved a Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still.
Things you have to do as an undead. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. There we go. It looks like we opened a few doorways, um, but I don't remember seeing any big gold doorways, so not sure. So, oh, we can rest here as well. Level up, offer souls, chain magic. Okay, um, let's see if we can talk to him a bit more. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Yes. Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. So that's good, he's told us who we need to find. Um, and I think Grave Lord Nito is down the catacombs, which it might be where I go next. Seath the Scaleless, I don't know where he is. The Four Kings are in New Londo, so I'd rather do that a bit later, the ghosty area. And who was the other one? The Witch of Isolith? Don't know who that is. Or where Isolith is. So, anyway, let's see if he's got any more dialogue. I am pleased to see. Is it something urgent? Uh, right, you're all right. Farewell. So, I'm gonna rest here. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of research into how to get my Claymore leveled up to 15. And I think we'll probably go for Nito next. Maybe. That's the plan anyway. So yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm glad I managed to do Ormstein and Smo in the first attempt. That was good. <laughs> so, but it wasn't down to my skill. It was down to the fact that I had Solaire helping me. But yeah, we've got past it. And now we're venturing into areas that are unknown to me. So that should be quite interesting. Um, yeah, if you like it, please subscribe, press like, uh, leave a comment, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.